All right, y'all, I got a story from my childhood. This would have been about 1995, maybe 94, but probably 95. When I was a little boy, um, I went to preschool before I started school at a church near where my mom and daddy, where I grew up. And uh, when I was a little boy, I never stayed at home much. I always stayed with my mom and papa across the county. I probably stayed more, there more than I stayed at home. So uh, one night I spent the night at my papa and mama's house. And my papa got got me up the next morning and was going to take me to preschool that day. Well, we got headed across there, and it, like I say, it was probably 12 miles. We probably got a little over halfway there, and his truck went to sputter, and it cut off. Well, he just kind of coasted over to the side of the road and uh, got out and opened the hood. Well, about that time, this lady pulls up in this little white car. I'll never forget it. She pulls up. She says, uh, sir, is there anything uh, I can help? You know, can I do anything to help you? He said, well, I've started down here at the church to take my little grandson to uh, to uh, preschool. She said, well, uh, if you want me to, I'll just take him. Well, in them days, this is 30 years ago almost, my grandpa told me to get out. I got my little Dale Earnhardt lunchbox, climbed in the front seat of this lady's car, no car seat or nothing. She drove me on down there, dropped me off to church. Well, that evening, when I got out of preschool, my mama asked, heard that my grandpa broke down. She said, uh, well, how'd you get to school? I said, uh, well, he, some lady stopped, and he just sent me with her. And my mama said, well, did he know her? I said, well, I don't know. Well, she called my grandpa, and uh, she asked my grandpa, she said, do you know whoever took Will to church or to preschool? He said, no, I didn't know her, but, you know, she seemed like a pretty nice lady, so I just put him in there and uh, sent him on his way. That just goes to show you how much the world's changed in the past 30 years. You know, this day and time, I wouldn't let my little boy play in the yard without washing him like a hawk. Somebody had to be there all the time. But, uh, you know, if, when I get to heaven, after I see all the people that's gone on before me that I knew, I'm going to ask the Lord who that woman was, and I'd like to thank her for doing that for me, because to this day, I don't know who it was, but uh, I appreciate her not abducting me, because my life would have probably turned out a lot different. But there was good people in the world then. There's good people in the world now. They're just getting fewer and fewer. But y'all have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed my little story time.